Hi folks, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Uh, targeting individuals. Targeted individuals are people who have been chosen for non-consensual, illegal, and immoral human experimentation by the government, by the Illuminati, and by whoever. There is a program to uh, target individuals, gang stock, torture, mind control, more gallons. Uh, this is what's going on in our country and around the world. There are some crazy more gallons uh, creatures coming out of people. Whether this is DNA, GNA, alien, man-made, bioweapon, nanotechnology, whatever it is, this stuff seems to have a life of its own, even though it is not supposedly alive. I don't know, either it's alive or it's not alive. Uh, I find that in many cases of Morgellon stuff that comes out of me, my body, I find faces, I find creatures, I find insects, I find strange things that I've never even seen before, uh, and it seems like some of this stuff is, is organizing itself, assembling itself. Some of it even seems to have a, a personality, if you want to call it that. Uh, what could we be looking at here? What is this sample that Timothy is showing you right now? Well, let's talk about the photographic equipment first. I'm using an i8 megapixel iPhone to get this shot. Uh, video camera. I am also using a jeweler's loop or a ma uh, map uh, magnifier which is actually very strong probably about 10 20 X or 50 X or something it's one of the more powerful magnifiers I've seen and what is this sample that I'm looking at well this sample uh, came out of me <clears throat> it came uh, out of my mouth actually um, I'm losing the good video here. Whoa, there she is. I am actually, I, I spit this up. I went, came out of me, and I spit it up, and I looked at it, and I said, wow, why is it that everything that comes out of me seems to be like little caricatures of, of you know, I don't know, man. Uh, and I wonder, because I see these things everywhere, and I don't think it's just the, the LSD they gave me, or the what have you, because if you're seeing this too, what does it mean? Does it just simply mean that something looks like something else, and because our brains are used to, whoa, are used to, uh, you know, picking out recognizable stuff, then... You know, we pick out something that looks like something. You know, it's almost, it's impossible to tell if that's moving on its own because I don't have a tripod. But, uh, you know, you get the right perspective and you see things that others don't see. You know, it could just be that I'm an artist, and this is my art brain. But, um... You know, sometimes I see these things, and they just seem so... real. Like, they're there. Now, are they actually there? Or is this just some... You know, part of my brain that's trying to put sense into it. Or, how about this one? If this stuff isn't actually doing the thing that I'm claiming it's doing, which is assembling into, you know, things that look like creatures, then, and I'm not doing it, like, with my hands or anything, perhaps it's the power of my mind. Uh... You know, I don't know. Are these things life forms? I don't know. Can I make things look like other things with my mind? Possibly. I don't know. Uh, why is it that I keep finding things that seem to have personalities, that seem to have 
recognizable shapes? Is that just the, the human uh, need to, to put understanding to things that we don't understand? Or, you know, like you bunt, dump a bunch of powder, dust, sand, dirt out on the ground, and it makes a face. Uh, you know, is that just your imagination? Is it just coincidence? Or did somehow uh, energy of some sort of being help to manifest that pictogram, that icon, that whatever, so that you could see uh, a flash image like Our Lady of Guadalupe, a little burned-in thing in your reality of some some creature or some you know what I'm saying like like if we don't fully exist in the third dimension is it possible that that my uh, observance of these creatures is causing them to take shape and form because my mind is trying to make sense of it and seeing uh, what I see or or is it actually there I mean is there some a spiritual or, or sentient uh, organizational element in the world that causes this really weird stuff. And I see this not just for stuff I spit out of me, but stuff all over the place. The things that seem to be assembling into, into what looks like uh, beings, you know, with faces and such. I had these insects coming out of me. They all had faces. They all had eyes. And they were all looking at you. And you could hold them up and you could move back and forth. And their eyes would follow you. You know, it was clear. They were sentient. They were alive. They were coming out of my body. And they were put there by more gallons. Now, what is this crap that I'm looking at? It doesn't seem to be moving. It doesn't seem to be... Uh, but... You know, wow, there it is. Hi, how are you? I mean, that's kind of a scary deal there, you know? I don't know who or what or, or anything uh, I'm dealing with here. And this came out of me. This came out of me. I coughed this up and spit it out. And it came out of me. And now it appears as though it's looking at me like it's really unhappy that it didn't get to keep its... I don't know, man. I can read so much into this stuff. Whoa, we lost it. Um, and I can just say, nah, it's nothing. It's just blah, blah, blah. But, you know, when you see something like this over and over and over, you have to wonder what is really going on here. Uh, uh, looks like it's suffering now. Looks like it's having trouble. Oh, I don't know, man. Things are so strange now that I've become a targeted individual. Uh, I've had all kinds of crazy mind control, uh, contact with strange genetics and beings from other dimensions, possibly. And, and uh, I don't know, we'll get into the whole story, but I just wanted to show you yet again uh, an example of what the f is that? I mean... You know, it just... Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God bless us all. Thank you for your time. Oh, um, that's me, Timothy, today. Christmas Eve.